Individual instructions on eFootball 2023 can be the difference maker in whether your team can get the win on Dream Team. On today's individual instructions video, we are going to talk about the defensive instruction. Now again, weirdly, the defensive instruction is actually under the attack individual instructions. And this is actually because the defensive instruction is to tell a player not to join the attack. So applying the defensive instruction will prevent that player from pushing forward into the attack. Now to start off with in this example, I place the instruction on my fullback Roberto Carlos. Now in a previous video, I have put the offensive instruction onto Roberto Carlos and we saw how that affects where he goes on the pitch during the attacking phase of play. And similarly, during the attacking phase of play, we see how this defensive instruction works on Roberto Carlos. During the game that I played with the instruction on, Carlos very, very, very rarely, if at all, joined the attack. And him naturally being an offensive fullback, this instruction maintained him in his defensive shape and kept a back four. We actually see at some point that Trippier on the right hand side, my offensive fullback on the right hand side, pushing forward more than Carlos. Now that's great if you want to keep your defenders back, you could apply two defensive instructions on both your fullbacks, keeping a nice solid back four. Useful if you do need to defend a lead in the dying moments of a game. Later on, I also applied the defensive instruction to my box-to-box -box midfielder, Wijnaldum. And this kept Wijnaldum from joining the attack and making those late runs into the box. He held a very central role in the midfield. Now again, this could be applied to maintain some control in the middle of the midfield if you're wanting your midfielders to dominate the game, making sure that your midfielders stay in the center of the pitch rather than joining the attack. Now, of course, with any of these individual instructions, they have advantages and drawbacks, and it all depends on the ebb and flow of the match that you're playing. For instance, I play a 4-3-3 formation, mainly now on Dream Team, and having a defensive instruction on my fullbacks would mean that we lose some width in the midfield areas. Having offensive fullbacks can be good for them to join the midfield, making it into a midfield four or five at times and overloading with the forward wingers. Similarly, using the defensive instruction on a box-to-box -box midfielder whilst maintaining a nice central position. This could also result in less backup and support for the forward three players in my formation. If your opponent's playing that low block and your front three are having trouble breaking down the defense, you're not gonna get the support and the backup from your box-to-box -box midfielder because they're going to loiter around the central area of the pitch. So as I've said in both my previous individual instruction videos, this is something for you to have a play around with. Use it on different players, go into a com match and try it out before playing against a real life opponent. See what works best for you, try different formations and see how these individual instructions work in different formations as well. But I hope this has helped you understand how the defensive instruction works on eFootball 2023. If it has, please do leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one.